Welcome to Basic Brewing Video. I'm James Spencer. And I'm Steve Wilkes. Hey, welcome back to Steve's <laughs> <laughs> dining room. It seems like only just a few minutes ago we were trying my wheat beer. Well, I think that's probably true. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're trying one of your wheat beers. That's right. I brewed this uh, Hefeweizen. This is a standard Hefeweizen that I brewed for the auction dinner we're doing for the Unitarian Fellowship. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're pairing it up with a crawfish bisque which is the dish for the for the uh, big meal. But here we go. This was brewed specifically for this. I call this an aggressive pour. <laughs> now this is this is the second course in our series of this beer That's dinner. That's right. This is the second that, course. Uh, this charity beer dinner that you're doing. Mm -hmm. We've done the appetizer in an earlier episode. Check that out if you haven't already. I'm swirling. Swirling. Ah, look at that. That's beautiful. Now in a Hefeweizen, if you don't know, uh, it is traditional, it's bottle conditioned, so it's got a layer of yeast on the bottom of it. So mm -hmm. you pour out a bit of it, swirl up the yeast, and pour it in there. And it's very cloudy now. Oh, beautiful. It's beautiful. Let's see how we think Cheers. about it. Mmm. Mmm. That's great. Yeah. It's a light, just a light, tasty beer. It's a, as mine was, a little bit tart. Mm -hmm. Yours has got a little bit more of the banana mm -hmm. in it, as is traditional for the style. Uh, the yeast, when it ferments, it, it makes these byproducts that uh, are tasty additions to the style. Yeah, it now really is. Now tell us about this. We've got a lot to cover today. <laughs> as I consult my iPhone, this has a half a pound of crystal malt, 20 level bond. Mm -hmm. It has four pounds of wheat, malted wheat and four pounds of, of uh, German Pilsner. I uh, no, Belgian Pilsner. It's got some uh, uh, an ounce of Tattnagar and a half ounce of um, Hallertauer mm -hmm. at the end of it. So uh, about 20 IBUs. And the yeast that I used in this was a um, White Labs uh, P300 Hefeweizen Ale yeast. Oh, there you go. So that's the beer, a uh, very simple beer, very straight ahead. Mm -hmm. Uh, what I, four point two, I think, alcohol, wow. ABV. So a great summer beer. Yeah. Hmm. It's very clean. It's very easy. So what? German dog to go with the German beer. So what? <laughs> that's right, that's right. <laughs> so what do we have? We have here to eat with it. Well, this is a this is a crab bisque. That uh, uh, is well. Let me taste it. I'm not crab bisque. A crawfish bisque. I had crab on my mind. What do mm. you think? Very good. Now run us through. <laughs> I have to eat. Mm. Now run us through how you make this. It's delicious. The first thing I did was to make a, a vegetable stock. In another pan, I cooked down a cup of dried carrots, a cup of diced leek, a cup of diced celery, a cup of diced tomatoes with the juice. Actually, actually, I shouldn't say a cup. It's actually a small can of, of them. I just use the whole can. A cup of chopped scallion, a heaping tablespoon of tomato paste, um, and a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And uh, that with about a tablespoon of olive oil, and I let that cook and just kind of get translucent. I added uh, three or four cups of the stock to that pan and let that cook down for a few minutes until the vegetables got nice and soft. Then pureed all that, pureed all that up, and then strained that, and I got all the kind of fibrous stuff out of it so that we had this just lovely, thick vegetable sauce, really. To that, I added two tablespoons of butter. So I put it on the stove, heated it up, added a couple tablespoons of butter to that, let that cook for a little bit, and then added flour into that to make essentially a roux, even though it had a lot of other stuff in it, but that made the thickening agent. I could have made a roux, a, a traditional roux with just flour and just uh, fat, and then added the other to it, but it was just convenient to do it this way. I don't think it affects the flavor at all. It's just how I did it. Uh, so once I had the roux and the thickening agent together, then I added in enough stock to bring it to the consistency that I wanted. So I wasn't so concerned with whether it was six cups or seven cups or eight cups. I was concerned with how thick soup was. 
Um, I chose to make it relatively thin and, oh, and two cups of, excuse me, and two cups of milk. Let that cook for just a few minutes. Added the eight ounces of crawfish into it. Let that come up to heat. The crawfish are already cooked. You don't have to cook them anymore. At least ones that I've gotten, if, if you happen to get your own fresh crawfish, well, okay, so cook them for three or four minutes, but they don't take any time. Um, once that comes up to heat, taste it, adjust the seasoning. If you want a little more heat in it, put some crushed chili peppers or something if it's a, or, or some Louisiana hot sauce. And then I paired that with a, a toast, which I made an anchovy butter by just taking three or four anchovy uh, fillets in a couple tablespoons of butter, melting that down and cooking it until the anchovy just, it'll just melt away. So, the, and then I spread that on the bread on a sourdough baguette, mm. broiled it for a few minutes so it toasted up, paired that together. This with a salad on the side, great dinner. What do you think? It's delicious. And there's beer in the soup. There, that, that's right, there's a, there's a cup of this Hefeweizen in the soup. Thanks for reminding me. It's delicious. And it's the salty uh, toast, because the, the uh, anchovies are salty. Mm -hmm. Salty toast with this delicious uh, seafood soup. And then I wouldn't have thought to pair a Hefeweizen with seafood for some reason, but it goes very well. It's very light and kind of clears the palate yeah. It's, it's delicious. Yeah. I mean, the soup, um, from everything that I said that was going into it, it sounds really heavy, but it's not. Mm -hmm. um, you can make a bisque is just a cream soup using shellfish. That's what bisque is. And I made this with milk rather than half and half or heavy cream. Mm -hmm. Kept it a little lighter. If you wanted this to be really rich and really thick, it, which is great, but maybe something you might want to serve in the wintertime, say say for a holiday meal but I wanted this to be a little bit lighter and I, I agree I, I just felt like the the light crisp refreshing flavor of this Hefeweizen would work really well with this soup and I think it does. Mm, it's delicious. Look for the recipe out on the website in the description of this episode on basicbrewingvideo.com yep. and I can't wait till the next course. You're here. Cheers. Cheers. Happy brewing. Happy brewing. Come and visit us on the web. At basicbrewing.com, you can find archive lists of both our audio and video podcasts on home brewing. You can also find our DVDs, Introduction to Extract Home Brewing, Stepping into All Grain, Low-Tech Lagering and Decoction Mashing, and our latest edition, Introduction to Wine Kits. Drop us a line. We'd love to hear from you. Write to james at basicbrewing.com, steve at basicbrewing.com or just use the contact form on basicbrewing.com. I'm sorry that went a little long. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs>